it's convocation day i have a lot to do still it's um 9 51 a.m and i have to be ready by 11 a.m because i have to leave the house by 12 um and i need to take pictures and stuff before and obviously give myself some time for any last minute touch-ups so we can't really talk right now um i'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup luckily i already did my hair i just have to top it i just have to touch it up after i do my makeup so yeah uh, i'm gonna speed through this i don't think i'm gonna actually do any eyeshadow i just want like a clean face base so let's get to it Makeup is done. I just have to do my lip color, but I'm gonna eat lunch right now and then I'll put on my dress and then do my lip color like last. So I'm pretty much ready. I just have to do like minor things. I have to touch up my hair, do my lipstick, put on my dress, and then put on my jewelry and my heels and take pictures. So it's 10:45 right now. I think that's pretty good for a time. Okay, guys, I'm ready. It's 12:05. Um, got my pictures. I don't know how they turned out. Hopefully they're good. Really hope they're good, otherwise we should have time to take some on campus. So dress is from Evernew and then heels are from Spring. Um, I know this might seem a little bit extra for some people, but because I like Evernew, it was a bit pricey, right? But for me, this is a, quite a big accomplishment and it's a big thing for my family as well. So I think I'm always extra when it comes to this kind of stuff. Um, I think career milestones should be celebrated as much as like a wedding career education like you know professional achievements um so yeah I like to go kind of all out um this is only my second ever purchase from every new the first thing that I bought from there was for my boat cruise in grade 12 so we're ready to go Okay guys, so clearly it's a different day now. Um, excuse my voice, I had a bit of a flu, so my nose is just kind of like blocked. That's why I sound weird. 
but I wanted to quickly hop on here just to end, up the, end the vlog off. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to post this vlog because you could probably tell throughout the video, but on the actual day of my convocation, I obviously vlogged like before the ceremony and everything. But then as soon as I got to campus and I saw the chaos of it all, I got super overwhelmed and I just completely forgot that I was vlogging um, that day. So even though when I was planning my that I'm going to vlog on convocation, I don't know what I was thinking because I didn't have my phone during the actual ceremony when we were all sitting down because I gave my phone to my mom and I knew I was going to do that. So I don't know how I was thinking that I'd be able to vlog, but... Having said that, I was able to put this together um, with like the actual recording, the official recording, and then the videos that my sister and Ashmita had took. So I'm happy that I was able to put something together because um, I started vlogging, I think it was my second year of university. So, and obviously a lot of my content was university based. And I've kind of vlogged my whole undergraduate journey on my channel. So I wanted to have this piece as like a closure kind of thing. So yeah, I'm really happy that even though it was super short, I'm still I was still able to put something together and have this kind of um, milestone documented in this way. As for what the future holds, there's a lot of uncertainty, but I'm excited for what there is out in store. Um, and as far as education goes, I think I will be a lifelong learner. Um, education is a very important part of my life and it's a value instilled in me by my mom from a very young age, the value of education she has taught me. Now, I would say at least the chapter is closed, but um, I will probably be going back to school at some point for the next step. I am officially an SFU graduate. Got my pin right here, and I graduated with my Bachelor of Arts with distinction. Um, majored in criminology, minored in political science, and also in gender, sexuality, and women's studies. And then I also got a legal studies certificate. So yeah, I'm not going to downplay my achievements. That was a very hard thing to do. It took a lot of hard work and determination. Um, but yeah, I'm very proud of myself. And I think it really hit me when I was sitting during the ceremony and hearing the speeches of all the speakers and it was like okay like literally five years ago i was sitting in my high school grad and now i'm here with my bachelor's degree i think that's when it hit me that is all thank you all so much for watching um if you enjoyed the video be sure to like and comment and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos i'll see you all in the next one